I have one that's called Vibrant Soap, and it's no secret that I really like the color blue. If you look back at some of my other soaps, a lot of them are blue because I like it so much. And I'm um, thinking back to a trip we took in early summer to Lake Tahoe, and we stood at the top of this beautiful waterfall. I think it was called Eagle's Nest Waterfall. Um, but um, as I told you before, I might take pictures and look at things and not really know what it's going to be inspiring for me to do until later. But in the back of my mind, I had the idea for this soap called Waterfall. So I'm going to show you those waterfalls right now. It's just really nice and we had the whole place to ourselves, which was even nicer. So I'm going to make this soap with a drop swirl, which is another favorite swirl of mine because you get these fine lines, but it's really dependent on a very liquid batter so that I get these fine lines of swirls that I really like to do. And I'm using the fragrance Artica, and I really like this fresh fragrance from Rustic Essentials to do the soap. And so there's a color tutorial if you want to see that, and just hit that little eye button right there to see that. And let's get on with the soap making. Okay, well it's been a long time since I've done a really thin drop swirl. I'm kind of wanting to do something a little different, so my oils are finally down to about 75 degrees. Let's blend up the oils. I'm using avocado oil in this recipe. There's hemp oil in this also. That's what gives it that yellowy green color. Okay, that's good. Let me get the My Life Solution in there. That's also about 75 degrees. Bring that to emulsification and add my fragrance called Artica. It's a nice fresh scent. It's a really appropriate name to make this soap called Waterfall. It's also been a while since I've made a white based soap, so I'm kind of excited to do something different. Okay, so I have dust. You can see here that I just have a variety of different kinds of blues and aquas. So let's pour that. This is my darkest blue. This is called Klein Blue. A little less of that one. I love this silver blue called Cornflower Celebration. It's like a grayish blue. It's nice. Green that's approaching turquoise, and this is a light blue. And then finally, I'm going to add my titanium dioxide mixed with oil. And start blending that. that a little bit more later but I don't want it to thicken up. Just leave my blender there. I'm going to whisk these starting with my lightest. Some nice light blue. Just make sure I have enough blue in there to counteract that yellow soap base and that's just fine. And this one's called Caribbean Kiss. And this is that cornflower celebration. That's that gray blue mica that I really like. Also from Rustic Essentials. It's 
great blue. Then my Klein blue. Let's see how the white is doing. Doing just fine. So I might blend it a little bit more. And stir this around to get rid of some of the bubbles. When you stir to get rid of bubbles, you really don't want to fold the batter. That'll just get more bubbles in there. I just want to agitate the batter so that the bubbles can go to the surface. Okay, so ready for my base color to go in. Save a little bit to pour in. I think I'll start with this blue. And then I'm going to pour from up top here. Let it drip finely down there. Some for the top. And follow that by this Caribbean Kiss Green. I'm pouring from about a foot above the mold. Go for the dark blue. There's really no risk of muddying up the colors when you have basically the same color, so I'm using the same spatula. I'm going to try to get the rest of the white in there now. Save a little for the very top. Kind of plopping in there a little bit, but that's fine. I've already got my finer pores in there. Get a little bit more of this green on this layer. a little bit for the top too. Okay, I'll just get my colors in there. I'll kind of alternate a little bit that there's some differentiation in the cross cut once the bars are cut. Some of this Klein blue, but this blue. Oops. I've made a real aqua mica drizzle for this. I'm going to end on the white so that the mica drizzle really shows up well.
this is really a lesson in the subtleties of blue with a little bit of green. So in this case, the green is like my accent color. So one that's different that will kind of stand out just because it's different than the rest. This needs a good tack down just to get all those peaks down. But what I really like about this is that there's blue scattered across the whole top. So that's good. Let me see here. I'm just going to be a more space between these diagonals. But the design idea is to get like a white water on top, like the waterfall just dropped, and then here, we will tap this down. And this is my aqua green mica drizzle. Diagonal. I'm pounding down a little bit more than usual because sometimes when you do those swirls, it leaves a trail, it leaves a ridge in there, and when you cut the soap, there's a little um, like cut in the soap. I don't want that. I'm going to add some glitter because we're talking about a waterfall here. I like how that turned out. Really close to me. Okay, so we'll bring you back for the cut. Okay, so I'm finally able to cut this. I left town for a couple days, so this has been waiting to be cut for a couple days, so should cut nicely. Some dropped swirls that I haven't been able to do for a while because I was experimenting with another pour. And halfway through this, the making of this, um, the batter did start to thicken, so it went from fluid to not so fluid. So you can see the bottom part is more. Um, fine of a swirl than the top part, but I can live with that. Wow, like that. Here you can see all the different colors of the lighter blue, the aqua blue, the royal blue, the gray blue, and the white, and those fine swirls that I really missed. I like it when all the colors show up. There's the glitter top. Yeah, I really miss these drop swirls. It's also one of the more easy swirls to do as long as you can keep the batter 
fairly liquid. You just basically pour them from about a foot above the loaf. And it does its thing. I like that. It's probably influenced by the waterfall that we saw recently at Lake Tahoe. I like those real fine lines there. So curvy. And this titanium dioxide was um, diluted with oil. So the nice thing about that is no glycerin rivers. Really have to make sure that the titanium dioxide powder is completely dispersed in the oil though. So I used a frother and I frothed that mix for quite a long time just to make sure. A little white ring. This really points out the subtleties in the blues. All different kinds there. I have some more videos coming up. I have already taped them and all I have to do is edit them together. So I'll be leaving town again, but I'd like to keep on the schedule with the videos. And thanks again for watching, subscribing, and commenting. I really appreciate all that. And I got one more cut. Right there. And we'll see you again for the next video. Bye everybody.